Finally, onto storage and handling. Yes, store, apprehend in a cool, dry place. On the label, it says below 77 degrees. It doesn't matter if you have short-term exposure to higher temperatures, even up to 110 Fahrenheit, but this is not a product that you can store in the back of your truck and use as you need storing it there because it will, you know, if you park your, your truck in, in full sunshine, it's going to elevate that temperature to 110 degrees Fahrenheit and above and that's going to be problematic. So if you look after Apprehend, keep it at a, a temperature that's comfortable for humans, then it will last the, the full 12 months that we give the expiration date on the bottle. So every batch we print a, a little price tag um, label that goes on every bottle and it'll tell you what the expiration date is. And you can assume that to be the case as long as those bottles have been kept at a, at a comfortable temperature, most of the time below 77. So don't store it in a vehicle. Always remember to shake a bottle of Apprehend before adding it to the spray bottle. Those spores do settle out over time. So each time you add more Apprehend to your spray gun, make sure you shake up the bottle first and then, and then add it. And because we don't dilute or expose this product to water, there's no waste. So whatever you've got left in that spray gun reservoir after an individual job, you can simply pour back into your bottle um, and use it the next time. So don't travel with the Apprehend in the reservoir of the spray gun because there is a tiny hole in the top of the spray gun lid and um, it allows for, for correct airflow to, to drive the product out of the gun. Uh, and if that tips over, you'll get leakage of the product out into the bag or into your vehicle. So always empty the reservoir back into the Apprehend bottle. There's never any waste, but just don't carry it around in the gun itself. And a good way of maintaining the gun, given that you can't expose that gun to water either, is you simply put your finger over the end of the nozzle press the trigger and allow the air to, to go up to the end of the nozzle where you blocked it with your finger and then the air drives back down the tube into the Apprehend uh, bottle reservoir uh, to drive any product away and that will prevent any blockages in the nozzle area. And really that's the only maintenance that you have to do with that gun except for charge the battery from time to time. Uh, never wash the gun in water never ever ever if you want to practice with the gun you can use rubbing alcohol but again make sure that the gun is completely dry before you add apprehend and then finally we're going to be using a, an r or p95 mask or respirator uh, operators should wear gloves and long sleeves this is on the label this to prevent repeated exposure to the the aerosol droplets containing the fungal spores it's unlikely but repeated exposure to these fungal spores could build an allergic response in some individuals. It will be like hay fever, but by wearing this RLP95 mask, you're going to avoid any such incidents.